I really want to talk a little about what are some of the best options for you when it comes to game bags. If we do open the EA app, little disclaimer, I really want to help you decide the best option for you, the best packs that you are gonna use to their fullest. If you buy a pack, you really want to enjoy it fully and completely just like with any other thing that you would purchase right you want to purchase that thing because you know you're going to use it all that good just we really want to find those games that are actually best fit for you there are some brand new bundles that the sims has recently released that's a great way of saving money there are basically right now three different bundles you do get three packs inside a bundle so for this one we do have cottage living we do have tiny living and we also have the dream home decorators and so basically you're saving one dollar which counts of course we have the everyday sims bundle which features seasons parenthood laundry day and then we also have the pet lovers which features cats and dogs parenthood as well my first pet stuff if you're really into cats and dogs and if you really want to incorporate them i totally get it you can get the cats and dogs pack but at the end of the day it's up to what you truly enjoy in the game you can go ahead and maybe opt for the mosquito pack because that one does include a few that's fair a few build and buy objects but if you're all about that industrial type of builds those are just awesome there is also the option of creating your own bundle from scratch if you go onto a stuff pack let's just say the mosquito stuff pack you can build a bundle and you can basically create your very own bundle when it comes to stuff packs it's really important to prioritize your desires you can decide to maybe get the build and buy thing because you're much more interested in building modern builds or maybe you could go for the tiny living if you're really keen on maximizing your space on having those perks of like leveling up your relationship a lot faster of you know building your skills a lot faster than in a regular house keeping your bills down especially if you're doing the rags to riches you know challenge do let me know in the comments down below what's your opinion on murphy beds do you think they're practical what do you like about them we also have the paranormal stuff back which if you enjoy little ghosts you know running around your house you can obviously go for this one plus it does have some really nice build and buy objects and decor items this couch is mm, chef's kiss i really like it so much the rug the console table i really like that about it it really comes down to prioritizing what you enjoy the most i know that i've said this multiple times but that's what truly matters at the end of the day we also do have the nifty knitting stuff back so if you're all about having like a little family if you enjoy seeing your sims you know crafting knitting that might be could pack for you do keep in mind that the knitting itself even though your sim does you know knit very well has the max skill in knitting you won't make that much money from selling it on popsy so if you're looking for a way to like let's just say advance financially in the sims 4 i wouldn't say that this is the most profitable way to do it but if you do enjoy the whole knitting process and seeing your sim grandma or your sim papa you know doing those things and you really want to incorporate that family feeling into your game definitely go for it and one more thing that's really important when picking a bundle is that we pick game packs that work very well together because if we were to buy like a very modern pack with this one which is kind of oriented towards the traditional side of things we wouldn't get the most out of them if you're you know picking the nifty knitting stuff i suggest that you would go with the cottage living i do already have it but if you don't have it you can obviously add it that's why it didn't show up let's just say you're more oriented towards that modern lifestyle when you're playing with your sims you can go with the city living it does have great gameplay features some of the cast items are really pretty we do also get some very exciting build and buy objects which is nice the best pair for it it would probably be maybe like the parenthood because we maybe want to have a family someday in an apartment maybe we 
can go for the dine out if we want to have like a restaurant and make some money while also living into an apartment or we can opt for the dream home decorator that one is a good fit or we can go for the my wedding stories it's really important to think about the storylines that we want to create in the sims 4 as well as to think about the build and buy objects if you're really keen about building in the sims 4 now obviously if you do already have some of these packs you can obviously consider those as your base as your foundation and you can add certain packs that go very well hand in hand with those ones that you already own again if you're all about occult sims maybe go for realm of magic or maybe go for the vampires when it comes to stuff pack with a city living pack the mosquito stuff pack does work again the laundry day stuff if you want to incorporate day-to-day -day chores in your gameplay does work as well the fitness stuff if you want to you know just build a gym into your apartment make your sim be active maybe you want to have like a more special you know kitchen you can go for the cool kitchen stuff if you do already have discover university i think a great pack would be high school years and then as for the game path maybe it could be dine out so maybe your sim is a student and does also make money through running a business and also with the discover university i think the tiny living does go very well hand in hand if you're all about optimizing your space it's really nice or maybe just knitting and selling your things onto plopsy again that's not the most profitable way to like make money but it's still it does count it's really important to establish your priorities see what you enjoy most building or actually playing or cast items you can actually open up the game and see what items each and every pack does offer you can go to the packs section you can also go to sale and see each and every pack that is on sale so you can see the cast items you can see the build items and if you feel like those are fitting with another pack definitely pair those two together or maybe pair three of them like a game pack expansion pack as well as a stuff pack this one is really cool i must say like it really has some interesting build it by objects if you do want to incorporate like a new world new gameplay possibilities definitely go for an expansion pack but if you do already have many expansion packs you can take a look at some game packs if you do want to have some more interactions or some more you know gameplay possibilities if you're all about just adding some more clothes you can take a look at the stuff packs when it comes to kits i really like the blooming rooms kits because if you're all about decorating your builds with plants you're gonna love this one so so much if if you really want to incorporate some more realistic things into your game maybe bust dust kit could go very well hand in hand with the laundry day as well as with the parenthood pack and maybe also the cottage living pack so it's really important to like think of combos when it comes to packs for the sims 4 and also considering the packs that you already own i'm not saying that this is like the right way or the correct way to do things obviously you do you it's all about your desires your passions your likes when it comes to the sims 4 i truly hope this video helped you in some way and i truly hope that you are gonna get the most out of your sims game i love you and i'll see you very very soon Just